All right, just getting started with this day. I'm, um, you know, enjoying doing this whole vlogging thing. And, you know, last night I was actually debating staying up kind of late to see the official announcement of Iran's 26-man roster for the 2022 World Cup. And I'm actually glad that I ended up not staying up because I woke up this morning to news on social media seeing that the press conference for Carlos Queiroz was postponed and that the list would be announced later, possibly tomorrow. And apparently this is because of some kind of disagreement between Carlos Queiroz and the Iranian Football Federation. Now, according to the reports, there's some speculation regarding things I don't want to talk about at all on this vlog. So I'm just going to skip that. All I can say is that there appears to be never a dull moment with the Iranian Football Federation. And this is getting kind of annoying, but we'll see what happens throughout the day. All right. I know some people have a habit of doing things kind of last minute, but I do need some new jeans, need some new threads for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of shopping. I don't plan on being, I don't plan to be shopping too long, but we'll see how this day goes. We've got more things to do. There's not going to be any days to relax for quite a while. There's been a bee on the windshield for at least a couple of miles. I'm not sure what this bee wants, but this has become very interesting. Maybe the bee wants to go shopping, or maybe the bee really likes uh, football. I don't know, does the bee want to go to Qatar? Highly unlikely, but if so, well, we'll keep you updated. Okay, quick update, we're now at the mall. The bee is still on the windshield. We'll see if he wants to go shopping. I need some jeans. Like a boss. Okay, left the mall, got some jeans, got some more houses to look at, and got back to the car. The bee wasn't there. So I guess the bee decided to do some shopping on, on his own or, you know, latch on to another car. Iran just announced their roster, and they're taking actually 25 players, even though the maximum number is 26. Four of those players are actually goalkeepers. Why are they doing that? I have no idea. Guess we'll find out more later. So once again, it's been a busy day. Saw some more houses, went shopping earlier. And now I'm watching some football. And by football, I mean American football. And obviously I still got a lot to do. So it's gonna be another long night. Okay, in my previous video, I was talking about cleaning some of my Iran shirts. So far that quest is going all right. I got a few more to clean. And for any of you who are in a dilemma where you need to clean your white Iran shirts, you know, you maybe need to clean some stains out of your white Iran shirt, I got a good suggestion for you. Get some white vinegar, cast style soap, and some baking soda. Check out the picture here I'm showing you. And just to be clear about something, that picture I just showed you is to clean the stains out of your Iran shirt. It's not to make a cake. I have a lot of Iran shirts to choose from. And right now, I'm just thinking about which Iran shirt to wear when Iran plays England. But interesting thing enough is that I have found two Iran shirts that have not been worn. They are still in the original packaging. Check out the first one. Red Iran shirt. You may not recognize the logo, but yes, red Iran shirt from the 1978 World Cup in Argentina. Yes, I've worn this before in some of my videos. Check out this other one. An old sport Iran shirt. This is what Iran was wearing during 2022 World Cup qualifying before they changed to those different Merouge shirts or Merouge shirts. All I know is this is what I'm going to be wearing when Iran plays England. Okay, I know you got a lot of things on your mind. Number one, no, I did not get those Hugo Boss jeans. I decided to go with a different brand. Second, yes, my favorite NFL team did win. Now you can see I'm in a better mood. Another thing, I know I mentioned in the previous vlog that I would have some interesting things to show you that I found in my old room at my parents' house. Well, sorry about that. That's going to have to wait, but I will be showing it to you in the next video. I promise. Most important of all on the agenda, Iran's 25-man roster. Now, there's a couple of things for me to talk about, and I'll be coming back to the main thing in general, obviously. First, why 25 players? The maximum number that FIFA allowed for national teams of the World Cup 
was 26 players to have on the roster. What is the point of bringing one less player? And the other thing, why four goalkeepers? I'm really not understanding that. Three goalkeepers is very standard on a roster for a major tournament. This makes me come back to something very important, and that is why 25 players once again? That extra spot could have been Shahab Zahidi or Amir Hossein Hossein Zadeh. Like I said, I really don't understand it. I generally don't question a lot of the things that Carlos Queiroz does as head coach of Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Like I said, a little confused about it, but at the end of the day, I trust Carlos Queiroz. He's done some good things before for Iran at the World Cup, hoping for some better things this time around. And yes, I know I have another video to make. It will be coming soon.